Hi there, thank you for joining me on Fern Crafts. I'm Christine and I welcome you to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you um, a, some orchids in blooms, actually just two. <laughs> orchids in blooms and I am ex very excited because this is the first time this orchid is blooming for me. It is a Dendrobium phalaenopsis and it is the first time it's blooming for me. I'm just going to tilt it up so you can see the flowers. It is beautiful bright pink i love it it's really nice and the cane um is a new cane but it's looking a little shriveled up so i'm going to give it a good drink of water and i have been cutting back on the watering uh since i brought in the orchid um two, about two weeks ago so um it started to get really cold here one week and then it warmed up the next week but i didn't bother taking it out again so maybe that's why it just uh, got a little dehydrated. Um, but I'll give it a good drink of water. And there it is. And uh, I am loving the flowers. It's just a little turned on the wrong side right now, but you can get a good look of it. There, that's the first one. So now on to the second one, which is a little harder for me to show. So I'm gonna tilt the camera up. Okay. So this is another dendrobium and it, uh, I didn't even know what kind of dendrobium it is or it, it looks like a dendrobium, maybe it's an epidendrum, I don't know if they still class it like that, but I don't have a label for this orchid and it put out this really long um, spike and I almost missed it because it was so thin and wiry. Uh, but just to give you an idea and one flower has bloomed so far so I want to capture it before we miss it and it might be the only one there a very very delicate flower and I can't seem to get it to focus any more than that there it's in focus that is the front of the flower there is the throat of it I'll give you a little bit more of a look there it's a, it's a little hard to capture because of the light streaming in, maybe this way. But as you can see, um, and I really apologize for this shaky camera, but there are two more buds. One might have blasted, I'm not sure about that, but uh, maybe there is one more. So I didn't want to miss showing this to you. It's so delicate, it's so... Uh, tiny it is very tiny uh, but I assume if the plant does well if the orchid does well we'll have more spikes at the same time and it might be more of a show so there you go folks just want to share that like I said I've brought in most of my orchids and for now just to give them more a uh, daylight I have just left them on this glass table that I have here and uh, I will be going through them and sort of giving them a little bit more care, maybe moving them to different parts of the house where I can uh, give them more of uh, the environment that they need um, or a little bit more humidity basically. And I can't do it all on the same table. It would be just too crowded. So um, I'm sure for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, you're also getting ready for the colder winter months um what are you doing with your orchids and um you know what uh what is it that you've recently acquired maybe so i'm just uh, trying to prepare a little bit more i've um gotten rid of a lot of my plants and so i have a few more uh, acquisitions that are not orchids in the house so i have to make room for those as well so anyway, this is just a very short video to share with you some of the blooms and as we're getting uh, ready for the colder months, uh, it's nice to enjoy the few blooms that you have and uh, maybe make way for some more. And thanks again for watching and if you haven't done so already, do subscribe and you'll be the first to know when I upload a video. Uh, give me a like if you enjoyed this video and also hit that notification bell. Thanks again for watching and until next time, enjoy your orchids. Bye-bye.